Good morning, Metaverse. I'm Thor with the OCG Guild, and today I want to talk about Polis, what it is and what its true potential is going forward into the next several months. All right, so Polis is one of two coins that is on the Star Atlas game. You have Atlas, which is your utility token, what you use to buy and uh, uh, purchase all types of things in game. You can purchase ships, you can purchase uh, resources to run those ships, and it's an inflationary token. Polis is the governance token, and it has a fixed supply of 360 million. It has the ability to uh, give the individuals, the individual players, the ability to vote in the Polis DAO, and those DAOs are the organizations that manage and govern the regions of space, the different factions, the three different factions, Oni, Ooster, and Mud. The governance of those are controlled by polis holders that have taken their polis and they have staked it in the DAO for the region of space or in the DAO for the faction governance. And when you stake that polis, you are actually given rewards in Atlas. It is a governance token with the ability to earn rewards for staking. Now, most people, when they are looking at Star Atlas, they focus on the Atlas coin because one, Atlas is in the name. Two, it's the one token that we actually buy and sell things with right now in the game as it is currently. And not many people that I talk to on a regular basis read all the way through the white papers and the economic papers. Now, this is the cool part because in my opinion, Polis is extremely undervalued. One, because the lack of understanding of it. And if you take the time to go through the economic papers and read through the tokenomics of Polis, it becomes very obvious how valuable this is going to be in the game long term. So if you believe Star Atlas is going to be a successful metaverse, then Polis is actually a very high value, even compared to, to Atlas. And so the fixed supply is a major thumbs up. That's think like Bitcoin. It is a store, store of wealth. It will not inflate. Once it reaches its uh, maximum supply, that will be it, which is scheduled for an eight-year period. In 2029 is actually when the last emission of Polis will be. And it has a relatively steep emissions rate for the first two years, and then it levels off. And we'll look at that. So we have the, the distributions of it, okay? Private sale tokens, liquidity pools. We'll talk about that a little bit later. The emissions for rewards, okay, where the majority of this is, so you can earn Polis in game. So if you haven't purchased it in a private sale, if you're not part of the Star Atlas team, you still have a large portion of that are in-game rewards that will be distributed over the next eight years. And so in my opinion, the allocation is actually real well thought through and even distribution for the different ways to acquire Polis. And then you look at the tokenomics. Over the course of time, it has a faster emission rate up front where the game is growing, and then it levels off towards the end of the eight-year period. And then at the end of 2029, actually, the emission missions will, will end. It will be fully diluted. And from that point, then the polis value will only increase as it becomes a the demand for it through the growth of the game increases. So that is, as far as tokenomics, something that I, I like to see in the polis coin. It's made for a long-term investment and to have control over the game. Ultimately, after the development team gives full control over to the Polis DAOs, Polis DAOs will be able to decide who actually continues the development of the game. The taxation rates on land and the way that the reward emissions for Atlas works for the different activities that you do in the game. And so being able to have an actual very real hand in and making your opinions known in the development of game is is a, a revolutionary concept and it's very attractive for myself as a gamer as well as the coin strength in tokenomics as an investor as a capital investment i want to look at the actual price right now which we'll go to coin gecko and take a look at it right now we are on january 25th we're sitting at two dollars and 64 cents so two dollars and 64 cents it is historically way down at the bottom okay it had started off in the six dollar range 
range and it had some spikes, but it really uh, stayed between the six and $10 range. And right now it is almost a third of that. So it is significantly down. Now, there was no major event that would suggest that Polis drop in value uh, in and of itself, but it has been shadowing the overall market. The overall market has been down significantly recently. And so for me, this just generally is a great time to, to buy in to to get coins at a significant discount. Okay. And not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing. Polis, the next thing you look at, the general strength of the coin and what the price is doing, is you're looking for a major event that should be coming up that will cause a positive change for it. And on the roadmap for Polis is actually where you see that. And so we go to the roadmap, and the next big event, the big thing that they're working on, is the Polis DAO Tier 0. That's the first release of the ability to take your Polis and stake it in the DAO. Now, there's not going to be a whole lot of decision making going on right off the bat, but to get the, the mechanics of this and to start staking the polis is the major thing. And so a few things that we don't know is what's the what's the rewards going to be in Atlas. So when you stake the polis, you're going to be rewarded in Atlas. What are the percent returns? What's the what's the ROI for that? We do know what the lockup periods are going to be as there's been a lot of talk about that where the lockup periods for staking the DAO or for staking polis in the DAO will be anywhere from months to up to three Three years and so if the if the returns are relatively high then there will be a large number of people that take their polis and stake it and lock it off the market for a long period of time what that would do is reduce the supply so if the demand stays the same and the supply is reduced because people are locking it off the market then the price action will go up just by that function now if there's a lot of hype and education around polis at the same time then people people will start to understand how valuable Polis is in the game of Star Atlas, which you have supply down and now demand should be going up once you understand what Polis actually does. And that should again make that price action move higher. And that's what I look for and what I expect. Now, what the market in general does, I don't know. And that will be a major effect on the price point of Polis. But in regards to Polis compared to Atlas and compared to its general value, I think that 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 is the event that will cause a spike or a rise in polis. And so reallocating your capital and, and deciding how much polis you're going to hold, I would be putting more into polis and using these these price points as, as a great time to, to buy in. That's, again, just, just what I'm going to be doing. Now, once I have polis, which is you know my governance token and allows me to control a lot of aspects about the actual game that I want to be playing in, I have a lot of interest in Star Atlas, so the value there is, is pretty evident. I also have the ability to utilize yield farming. And this is a, a great tool that you can use on decentralized financing. And I'll do some more videos on yield farming specifically, but on Radium. So I'm at radium.io and I'm on the yield farms. And there's several to pick from, but they have Polis and Atlas. And they have the pairs Polis and Ray. And they also have Polis and USDC. So right now I have majority of my yield farming is with the Polis Ray coin and they're dual yielding. So so they actually have emissions for both polis and radium. And so there are very few ways to actually earn polis. And this is one of the few ways that you can earn it outside of the game. So there was 4% allocated for liquidity pools and other promotions. And this radium's fusion farms is a dual yielding farm and you can get polis as a reward for that. And right now the APR is at 82%, which is the lowest it's been since I've got involved with it. And that's kind of how yield farming works the earlier in the higher percents you, you get but it's still extremely high percentage rate and there are actually a few other reward aspects to it or uh, DeFi protocols that allow you to compound that interest on a very regular basis on the daily and there's even some that do it every 30 minutes and so you're maximizing the compounding interest aspect of the yield farming which is already a very high rate of return a very high APR so to be able to purchase a nice chunk of polis and then put it somewhere where it's earning even more while I wait for the staking, the Polis DAO tier zero to be released. That means that getting into it right now is not too early. You're not just going to be holding on to it and waiting for something to happen. You can actually put it in and make it work for you. And so that is another aspect that I really like and look for in any uh, token that I'm holding is how can I make it earn money for me passively?
All right, so to sum this all up, let's go through what we've learned about Polis and why it is, a, in my opinion, a great value, great buy uh, right now. You have Polis, which is the governance token. It gives you control over the Polis DAOs in both the regions and the factions of the game, which gives you the ability to vote on taxation rates for land and for trade. You also have the ability to control the emissions for Atlas rewards for different missions in the game and then the overall development of the game as it goes through for the next couple years as the game develops and changes to have a, a, a hand in that if you're real interested in Star Atlas the game then Polis value is is very evident in its governance ability it's also a uh, fixed supply so it is a, a type of storage of wealth it makes passive income once you stake it so you're earning Atlas as a result of staking it so passive income it is also at a reduced price price right now from where it has been historically for the last several months. And so that looks to me as a sale price. Market can still go down. It could end up being much less from what I can tell and what I think about the crypto markets in general. I believe this is a very low point and a great entry point to, to get into. And then in comparison to Atlas, that fixed supply where Atlas is going to be inflationary, that fixed supply makes it a much stronger long-term type investment. And then you also have the release of the Polis DAO Tier 0 that's coming up in one to two months. So it's very close to another major release in the game specifically focused on Polis. So to get into something before the hype and before the focus is put onto it, in my opinion, it makes it one of the best places for me to, to put my capital and, and to, to allocate my focus for Star Atlas and, and for play to earn games in general. So I hope this was a helpful video and it if you can leave comments below, let me know what other types of things you want to hear about, any parts of this that you would want to expand on. I know this one took a little bit longer, but there was a lot to it, and I, I really do like talking about this stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't worry about liking or subscribing, but if you know somebody who would find this information useful and would take action and implement it, then please share it with them. I'd love to see the real action takers benefit from this incredible combination of cryptocurrency currency, play to earn gaming, and business financing. If you can do that, then today was a good day.